Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates and new videos. Today, I'll be discussing recent updates on the IQD, Iraqi Dinar, and VND, Vietnamese Dong, including insights from various intel sources. Firstly, regarding the Iraqi Dinar, an important update comes from a reliable source, with information that we are unlikely to see the RV revaluation, occur before November 5th, the date of key elections. My contact at the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, informed me during a conversation on Saturday that if everything goes well in the US elections, we could soon see preparations for the next phase of Iraq's monetary reform. This includes the RAIN statement, which will mark the beginning of the project to delete the zeros and the swapping of larger currency notes for smaller denominations. The timeline for this process is expected to start soon after the elections conclude and the winners are announced. However, we may need to wait until the inauguration ceremony is completed before we see the RAIN statement officially take place. On a related note, Intel guru Frank26 has highlighted recent protests in Iraq, which he attributes to Iranian influence. According to Frank26, these protesters are infiltrating Iraq to create chaos and slow down the country's progress, particularly as it relates to financial reform. Their primary motive appears to be financial, as they do not want to lose influence over Iraq. Despite their efforts, Frank 26 is confident that these attempts to derail the process are failing and will not succeed in stopping Iraq's progress. In another piece of intel, via PDK, it's believed that October could be a critical month for progress. After a stagnant period in September, many are hopeful that the positive changes that began last month will come to fruition in October, signaling potential developments for both the IQD and the VND. Guest Guru Skywalker provided a response to Intel Guru Militiaman's explanation regarding the removal of zeros from the Iraqi currency. Skywalker clarified that removing zeros is related to the currency's nominal value and not the exchange rate itself. An exchange rate reflects the ratio between two currencies, not their intrinsic value. Skywalker also referenced Dr. Shea Bybee, the author of the Delete the Zeros program, who stated that the zeros were originally added to the currency due to inflation. Numerous articles confirm that the zeros will be removed from the nominal value of the currency notes. However, Skywalker emphasized that there has been no official mention from the CBI or the Iraqi government about removing zeros from the exchange rate, as militiamen had suggested. Additionally, the Parliamentary Finance Committee in Iraq confirmed today that it will begin discussing the 2025 budget schedules at the start of November. Mudr al Kayat, a member of the committee, stated that the committee is working closely with financial specialists from the Ministry of Finance and the Central Bank of Iraq to address delays in funding for governorate allocations and ongoing projects. The committee aims to launch project packages in the coming days. Al Kayat pointed out that they will begin formal discussions on the 2025 budget early next month to ensure that employee salaries and project allocations are secured. Furthermore, the Parliamentary Finance Committee is also focused on important issues such as maximizing non oil revenues and developing various productive sectors in Iraq. Al Kayat acknowledged that Iraq still faces a significant challenge in relying heavily on crude oil sales, which currently account for 90% of the country's treasury revenues. While there are efforts to boost non oil revenues, progress has been hindered by multiple challenges. Nevertheless, the government remains committed to finding solutions to diversify the economy and reduce its reliance on oil. Stay tuned for more updates and don't forget to share this video if you found the information helpful.